Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today is Sewing Talk Tuesday, where we get together and we talk about everything that is sewing related. We talk about fabric. We talk about projects. We talk about upcoming projects. We talk about bags. We talk about anything. So, without further ado, we're going to get started and jump right in. I want to um, talk to you a little bit about the quilt kits. I want to thank those of you who have ordered. Your um, orders will be shipping out this week, so I wanted to let you know that. So I thank you for your support. I'm putting all of those kits together and getting them ready to ship out to you. Um, also, in case you're not familiar with the kit, this is the Sunbonnet Sue Overall Sam Table Topper Kit. This is a cute, cute little kit to have for spring or summer. It fits perfectly on my dining room table. It's not too big. It's just perfect. Everything you need to make this kit is included in here, including the binding. The only thing that it does not come with is batting. So, but everything else that you need is in there. Also, um, I wanted to let you know that I have two of these kits. This is a queen size rag quilt kit and would actually be perfect for a Father's Day gift. Now it is not pre-fringed, pre so you would have to fringe it on your own, um, but it is queen sized. And so this is what it looks like. All the backing squares are black. And as you can see, these are our main squares. And then that's the secondary square that buds up to, the, to next to this one. To the main fabric comes with written instructions um, all of my kits come with written instructions so that you'll know how to put it together um, the queen size um, kit like I said I have two of these available $79.99 plus free shipping you can always turn this into a traditional quilt too it doesn't have to be a rag quilt but it is intended to be a rag quilt and the instructions will come as a rag quilt so there's that, this is flannel, by the way. All flannel does not come with the batting, just the pre-cut squares. And those squares are 10 inches. And so there's that. Also wanted to let you know that the Sophie's Pumpkin Patch Table Runner Kits are almost completely sold out as well. So if you don't have yours, you wanna grab it now because once they're gone, they are gone. Um, this one is $59.99, and again, everything you need to complete this project is included in here. This one comes with the stabilizer and all the um, items to put it together. The only thing it doesn't come with is the batting again, and the reason for that is because batting, I feel, is really a personal choice, so that's why that one doesn't come with that. And the um, Sunbonnet Sue Overall Sam, this one is $29.99. When you order from my Etsy shop, if you spend more than $35, you get free shipping. All right. So the next one I want to talk about is this really cute patriotic pot holder that I picked up from my local sewing store that I'm going to be making for me. Isn't that cute? Um, they do weekly tutorials, or not weekly, I'm sorry, daily tutorials um, at my local sewing store. So they do this on F Facebook and I watch it. And I saw this one and it was so cute. I was like, I have to do that. But look at how cute the fabrics are. Aren't those adorable? Perfect for the 4th of July. And I'm really excited because I'm going to be able to take my casserole dish now over to my sister's with my cute little... <laughs> pot holders. <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? <laughs> I cannot wait to just sit down and stitch this out. I may even do it tonight. I don't know. It just seems like something fun to do or I don't even have to think a whole lot, you know? So, so I went to Michael's yesterday and uh, picked up some stuff there, some fabric. Um, my husband picked these up. These are her bandanas. Um, they were on clearance. And so he picked these up for the men in our family for Father's Day. He has something 
special up his sleeve that he wants to do with those, I guess. <laughs> I never pretend to know. <laughs> anyway, and then I have these really cute um, orange paisley bandanas and these really cute green ones. So I got three of each of these. I'm going to be making a bag out of them. So I will be putting this in the shop when it's done. So you'll want to watch that tutorial as well. Um, I got yellow ones. And then I got some green ones to offset with that too. So six total for that. I love fabric. We all love fabric on the Crafty Author, don't we? So I just felt like I needed to show that to you. The next thing that I have here is more fabric. So I went to Joann's for one thing and one thing only, um, and that was to pick up some more um, fabric for the quilt kits because I ran out of some of the backing fabric. So I had to get some more. One thing I went in there for, and I walked out with a whole bunch more. And it was kind of funny because usually when Brandon goes with me, he keeps me kind of, you know, in check and I don't get to buy crazy. <laughs> well, he wasn't, he didn't keep me in check too much. So anyway, I got this really cute cotton donut fabric with these little donut trucks on them and they are so stinking cute. And I absolutely love this little panda one. Isn't he cute? I just, I love this fabric. Love it. Maybe I'll make a bag out of it because I love it so much. I don't know. I just am intrigued by little things like that. So I love that fabric. It's cute. The next one that I got was this really cute unicorn fabric. And it is so cute because it has the donuts. So I'm really into donuts right now, if you can't tell. Don't know why. I mean, I love to eat donuts because they're delicious, but I think they're cute on fabric too. So I got that one. And I might put some of these, I might put some of this up for sale or I might um, do some fat quarter bundles. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with it, but I've got it. So it'll be cute. Check out this cute unicorn fabric. That'd be adorable for a little girl. And I have some fabric that will offset with that really perfectly. It's like, a, I don't know, it's real whimsical. So I'll have to check, the, check that one out. This one I am just in awe of. And I think I'm probably going to turn this into a kit. But I want you to tell me about down below what you think I should do with this unicorn stuff. Should I turn it into a kit or should I um, make a quilt out of it myself? So check it out rainbow colored unicorns in neon colors what how cool is that and then check this fabric out to go with it isn't that cool i love it love it love it and since this is a hundred percent cotton since both of them are it is going to rag so incredibly well especially if it's turned into a rag quilt that is adorable Adorable, adorable. And then the next thing that I have here, <laughs> more donuts. <laughs> These are patriotic donuts for like the 4th of July donuts. Um, this is knit fabric. This is very, very stretchy knit fabric. This is the same fabric that I make those little, um, the leggings out of with the bell bottoms. And I plan to make a bunch of leggings with bell bottoms and I will be doing a tutorial on that to teach you how to do it as well. Um, but if you're not a garment sewer and you just love those anyway and you wanna pick some up for a little girl, well, they'll be in my shop. So I'm gonna be starting on this, I believe this week, maybe next week. Um, and we're going to start sewing these little leggings because I need to get them up and ready to go before the 4th of July. So there is that. I just love this fabric. And I've shown you the other fabrics that I have. I have the lemons. I have the um, avocados. Those ones are cute. I have Minnie Mouse. Um, 
What else do I have? I have a whole bunch. I have two bins full of knit fabrics that I need to be cutting out and getting to sewing. So when we start sewing these, I wanna let you know this. Um, when I start sewing the leggings, you're going to see me pull out the serger machine and also the cover stitch machine. So those are the two machines that we will be working with. So if you're curious as to how those work, that's when we're gonna we're gonna use them. So I use it mostly for garment sewing. I use it sometimes for binding and other things, but mostly garment sewing, okay? Then I did finally make a decision. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with this, but I have finally decided that I am just going to put this up for sale. This was a tutorial that we did. Um, it's a wall hanging and it is the wall hanging that we did, um, the reverse shoe fly. Um, anyway, but I am going to be putting this in the Etsy store. I'm going to discount it just because it is not perfect. Um, I originally, I quilted this with my embroidery machine with the suns and I had a little faux pas here. I'm going to show it to you just so you're aware of it because it is a little bit, you can't really see it, but I'm going to point it out to you right there where it kind of overlapped a little bit. Um, so anyway, I will discount it because of that. This is done in Tula Pink fabric. So this is her line work, um, her line work patterns. It's got the panda in it. It has the peacocks in it, has the lemur monkeys in it. And I think it has the little skunks in it. Yes, it does. So if you would like to purchase this, keep an eye out. I'm gonna put it in the Etsy store and it will be available for purchase there. There's only one. And so whoever wants it, gets it. So. The name of my shop is Crafty Author Boutique. If you're interested in making a purchase of any quilt kits or the tulip pink wall hanging, then um, check down below in the description box. I will have that link there. It is Crafty Author Boutique. And that's it for me today. Keep on crafting. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to give the little bell a little click you'll get notified each and every time that I upload a new awesomely cool new video I upload videos on Tuesdays and Fridays Tuesdays are sewing talk Tuesday Fridays are tutorials and I'll see you guys next time bye bye